Hello and welcome back to another computer sluggish tutorial. So today I'm going to be unboxing the Hyper TX3 Evo. As you can see it's here and this is the box. So all the specifications I will put in um, the description below. So for now let's just unbox this heatsink and take a look at what it's like. But straight away compared to um, the other heatsink that I had in the link below you can see that video um, it was the hyper 212 evo and straight away this one's got the pins that one had um, screws and a couple of like nuts and bolts or whatever so this one is going to be easier to mount to the motherboard compared to the 212 evo which will make life a lot easier because you ain't got to take the motherboard all the way out your computer case if it's already fitted. So let's go ahead now and open this up. Hopefully it's going to be easy to get into, which that's not too bad. There we go. Right. Let's just go like that. And straight away. So we've got a white box at the top which is going to contain a few of the things that we need to actually put together the heat sink to our motherboard. Okay, so in here we have our manual for the heat sink and how to amend it. So that can just go to one side for now. And we got some heat sink paste, so thermal paste there. Only a little tub, but there's plenty there for what we need. And we got a couple of screws in there. Right, so there's the pins that I was on about. They're already attached to this like metal arm. So straight away, nice and easy. That go onto the motherboard. Boom, in, twist, click, done. Job easy. So we got another little leaflet here telling us what we should and what we shouldn't have in here. Which is just there. Looks all good. Looks like we have everything that we should. There you go. Get a nice close up on that. Right, let's put that to one side. So there's that little white box with all the contents to attach the heatsink to our motherboard. So now it's time to actually pull out the heatsink and take a look at it. So it's going to look fairly similar to the 212. I believe the fan is slightly light. Everything's a bit lighter, I believe. Um, but that's pretty much it. Obviously, I will put, like I said, um, all the information in the description below. And I'll also put in the 212 information so you can compare and decide which one you prefer the most. So looking at this straight away, it is it's identical to the 212 you can't even you know you can't really tell any difference but like I said I believe weight is the difference on these um, I don't know about the fan that could have different power not too sure but on today's processor we're going to be testing this out on the Q6600 so it's an old school processor but as you all know it overheats really badly so I'm going to see what sort of um, temperatures we're going to get with this heatsink on that old processor. And hopefully it's going to be a good one. And in another later on video, I will do a video comparing the 212 and this TX3 compared, well, on my i7-2600K. And we'll see which one gives off the best temperature. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to get updated when I upload that video. So I'm now going to put on the screen um, the temperatures we get on the Q6600. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.